Okay, everyone, welcome back. We are almost done. I guess it's nearly time to uh, to end this. Um, a couple of things just before I finish off the game. Um, the treasures that you collect in the game are basically not something that you're supposed to use. So there are three main treasures in the game. There's the, uh, the golden egg, there's the golden walnut, and there's, uh, oh yeah, and there's the pouch of diamonds. I guess probably the scepter or the magic chest could also count as treasures, but by the time, by the time you get the scepter, you're already at the end of the game anyhow, since they made it so that you can't get, uh, you can't get the shield until the very last item. Um, but you don't really use the treasures. You can use them uh, to get past um, enemies, I guess you could say, that, that accept treasures for passage, uh, which I think is basically the troll and the rat. So there's the bridge troll, whom you can get past by using a treasure, and then there's the rat, who we saw in the previous video, the underground rat. Um, and if you give one of them, again, the diamonds, the golden egg, or the golden walnut, they'll let you pass. But you're not supposed to do that. There are better ways of dealing with them, as we've seen in this, uh, in this sequence of videos. Um, funnily enough, those of you who've played King's Quest IV might remember that moment where you give the pouch of diamonds to the poor fisherman and his wife. Uh, so you might think that you can give treasures to the woodcutter and his wife in this game. Well, you can, but if you do, it doesn't do anything. Um, the woodcutter says, thank you, but I think that only a gift of food can save us. Um, he accepts them. Funnily enough, he, he will actually accept the treasures, so you can give them to him, and he'll say thank you, but then he says, uh, but I, I think that only a, uh, <clears throat> only a gift of food will, will help save my wife at this point. Um, and really, if you think about it, there are no sh stores, there are no shops or anything like that. There, there's nothing to buy uh, anywhere. There's nothing, nowhere that you can really use money because there's nothing selling anything here in Daventry. So I guess money is kind of useless in a kingdom like this. Um, so yeah, so you, you don't really use the treasures. Ideally, you don't use the treasures. They're just for points. So I want to get the maximum score in the game. And so for that reason, I collected all the treasures. But ideally, you won't use them at all. So that's that. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to show, since we saw in the previous episode, uh, the wolf, let's go ahead and um, show what happens when you get eaten by the wolf, since somebody did also suggest that I should show getting eaten by the wolf. I think the wolf is... where's the wolf now? The wolf can't be that far away. I remember the wolf was... oh, I, still, I think the wolf is to the to the west of this screen, if I remember right. Yeah, here we go. Here comes the wolf. Or at least this is the screen where the wolf shows up. I don't know if the wolf is going to show up now. Hello, Wolfie. No, he's not. Okay. Funny, always on that screen. On on this screen here, for whatever reason, the music suddenly starts up again. And I think this is the, the music that sort of heralds the, the end game, like the, the final sequence of the game as you're going to the castle. But I would like to see the wolf just before... Is the wolf not going to show up now? Is the wolf not going to show up now because I'm at the end of the game? Or is it just that... Oh, maybe it's because I have the magic shield now. Maybe the magic shield is preventing those characters from even showing up. All right, let's restore a game to before, uh, like here, for example. To re oh, but here I, ha I still have the Fairy Godmother spell. Um, I need a... Here we go. Here's a safe game where I don't have the spell and I don't have the shield to protect me. So now let's go ahead and quickly see the wolf. I know I'm holding up the end of the game, but I mean, it's, it's the last video. So let's, let's just get this out of the way. It shouldn't take too long, ideally, if I can just, if I can just find the wolf now. Okay, here we go. So here's the wolf screen. Without warning, a wolf darts out of the bushes and runs straight for you. Look out! Don't let him catch you! <laughs> How many times have you been told not to wolf down your food? That also is very obviously uh, the wolf from King's Quest V. What was he called? Sir Grey Wolf, I think, or something like that? Uh, anyway, okay. That death is not quite as graphic as the one with the, uh, with the ogre, where the ogre just picks up Graham and crushes his head in. Um, that's probably the most graphic death in, uh, in the entire game, in, in this entire game at least. Okay, anyway. 
Enough of that. Let's go ahead and... Uh, where's the castle now? Let's go ahead and finish this. Uh, I think it's just up here and then to the east of here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, here's that stone where we got the dagger at the beginning. So the castle should be just east of here. And there it is. All right. All right, everyone. It ends tonight, Graham. Ooh, where is everyone? You are standing outside King Edward's... Yeah, I know that, but... The portcullis is the only... Yeah, I know that, but what? Okay. That's odd. Why aren't the guards at their posts? And now we get three points for opening the portcullis ourselves. You are curious still. The courtyard is deserted. This area is usually filled with the ladies and lords of the castle. I like how he can this just... This is highly unusual. You begin to feel deeply disturbed. As if all is not right within the castle. I like how Graham can just you open can the portcullis himself. Hear a commotion in the king's chamber to the west. There is nothing to be done. Oh, our king's melancholy is too much for his heart to bear. If only Sir Graham had returned with the three lost treasures of Daventry. I'm here. I'm here. Look. <sighs> He's returned. Did he find the treasures? Shh. Listen. Your Highness, I am at your service. Did... did you succeed in your quest? I did, Your Majesty. Here, as you commanded, the magic mirror, the magic shield, And the magic chest. Which creates hyperinflation. Or actually just devalues gold. I am afraid it is a little too late for me. But you have done superbly, my knight. As I promised, the crown is yours. I know you will serve this kingdom well. The, the king is dead. Long live the king! Long live the king! Le roi est mort. Vive le roi. And thus ended Sir Graham's quest for the lost treasures of Daventry. Despite the loss of their beloved King Edward, the people of Daventry grew happy and prosperous for years to come. And whenever King Graham looked into his magic mirror, he saw visions of adventures yet to come for him, for his children, and for Daventry, the land he loved so much. What children? Graham doesn't have children in this game yet. What does that say at the top? The something of credits? The, is that the... The, the list? Oh, oh, the list. The list of credits. That sure doesn't look like an L. That looks like... Looks a bit like a V that's been rotated counterclockwise 45 degrees. I think we saw this before, but... We can see it again. Why not? Yes, AGS. I think I mentioned before. Yeah, the big blue cup. And beta testers. Yes. Um, yes, Wolfgang Abenteuer, as somebody pointed out, is actually the name of the guild master from the first Quest for Glory game. I don't, th don't think, uh, I don't think he's a real person. Secret insider fact, I don't think Wolfgang Abenteuer is a real person, but, oh well. I like how there are two people credited with the logo. That much work went into creating the AGD logo. Oh, does it just loop? Okay, well, we can... Alright, congratulations, you scored the full 158 points. Thanks for playing, we hope you enjoyed King's Quest 1 VGA. Yes, I did. In memory of these two people, Wells Lauren and Steven Swincer, the adventurers who introduced us to King's Quest. 
Oh, and just brings us back here. Okay. Well, that was that. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been um, AGD's VGA remake of King's Quest, Quest for the Crown. I, I wanted to say King's Quest 1, but back then it wasn't called King's Quest 1 because it wasn't a series, it was just one game. So yeah, King's Quest, Quest for the Crown. Already back then they were using subtitles uh, in games like that, in that way which annoys Yahtzee so much. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I do have intentions of playing the second game, like the uh, the, the VJ remake of King's Quest 2, which AG, AGD made. And there is also a remake of King's Quest 3, which they made, uh, which I wasn't as keen on for some reason. I don't remember why. Looking back on it now, I really liked the remake of King's Quest 2. Somehow I didn't like the remake of King's Quest 3 as much. Probably because it didn't force you to type in all the spells for an hour, and it's it's just not King's Quest 3 if, if you don't have to spend ha an hour tediously typing in spells. I mean, what's the fun of not doing that? Um, but yeah, I definitely intend to... Let's play further games from, uh, from this sort. So we'll be seeing each other. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope that I'll see you again later on for further adventures with not only the now King Graham, but also other adventure game characters who figure prominently in their respective games. Until then, ta-ta, everyone. Bye-bye for now, and long live the King. Hail to the King, baby.